Left side, pulling up over Doobie. Knocked it down to Doobie. He's, yes, he he's a veteran point guard, and you know, it almost seems like it's to the point where it's pushed that you guys aren't so much trying to figure out if he can help. It's just about trying to you know, work the other guys and see if they can help as well. Yeah. Guys early in the second round, and they could have easily been late first round picks. Mm -hmm. Thomas Gardner back in the game against Budinger. Swings it for Pooh Jetter. He'll pull up and knock down that mid-range jumper, and that's uh, Sergio coming in and helping us out. So I, I think we did uh, we, we did pretty pretty good at point guard. And, uh, and again, Steve is I think one of those guys that doesn't get a lot of credit, but does everything the coach needs him to do out on the court. What well, a big fellow in the middle, Greg Old. Finally got a chance in the D League or otherwise that on any given night he could be a triple double waiting to happen, but he still hasn't quite turned the corner to be that NBA player. Right. Well, he got a couple call-ups last, uh, the previous year, not this past year. He, uh, one year in, in, in college, sat out a whole season, sat out a good part of uh, last season, the early part of the season. So Greg is definitely still uh, evolving and learning the NBA game. And I think that's what he's you know, been mostly working on this summer, footwork, staying out of foul trouble. To me, you know, when Greg doesn't get in foul trouble, uh, his role is not going to be to dominate the ball. Right. And, and, and I think maybe he needs to develop a little bit more playing away from the ball and setting people up instead of, of trying to dominate and score it so much. He replaced here at Temple. And a fresh shot clock for Portland. Jetter left side. Pulls up on Conroy. Who knocks down the jump the square when that's inside the open. And uh, that's a good matchup. James White's a good defender. He's long, lanky, and that's what he does. And they've got him matched up against Bayless. I like that. And, and those kind of hustle plays and the defensive end of the floor, I think so important for James White to not just be in, in and out of the league. What a win. Yeah, I, I was starting to get concerned. I assumed that he was done for the night. When I looked at the bench and didn't see him, a, a, a question mark popped over my head. I didn't see him come up to check back in, but we'll see if he can uh, hold off Portland here. But right now, it's John Clay to free up Joey Dorsey for the two, and we're tied again at 77. Here's Jetter, right side, working with Pendergraf, who will pull up again inside the arc. Oh, foul in, knock it down. There's another one. And when are his teammates going to learn? You're going to take an elbow to the schnoz. Just let him get the rebound and get out on the break. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. Jetter picked up by Weems. Mark, I want to ask you about Chris Anderson. Uh, I believe George Carl's quote was, and I may be paraphrasing, it's Gardner hits for Portland, that he was a gift from God last year. It's just because I'm not. Why would you say that? I, I'll tell you, because I'm not hearing a lot of Linus Plaza in Denver. I'm hearing a lot of Linus Plaza and other teams. In the reports and in the rumors, you there. Are you? I understand. And, you know, I think we've demonstrated our, our affinity for, for, for the young man in the past. We have a big affinity. If you know somewhere to go, let me know. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just inquiring. Still that, a young guy. Um, and if the help comes early. Bobby Jones, former Denver. That and where you want it to head. A few things. One, they're going to obviously have to be very, um, if not proficient, adoptive of player development. We're a very young team, and we're just going to have to spend a lot of time on that in the next couple of years. Are they taking the credit cards in Israel? <laughs> yeah, are they, is Omri Caspi able to be viewed in Jerusalem yet? Because I know for the first couple of days of Summer League, that dominated the discussion. And, and, it, well, and it was... It, it was a controversy out here, and, and unfortunately, our good friend, and that is Boot Jenner, exhilarating the crowd with an ad. Spotlight on him, and last season didn't go exactly as planned with some injury bugs and, and some problems for him at St. Mary's, and now bit by it again. It's unfortunate because he's a guy that I think late in the second round could end up being a steal when he gets healthy just because. 
Just had it slip out of his hands as he went up for that little land from about a foot away. Jetter back, pulling up right in the face of Dupree, and that's D-League All-Star. But he, he is an absolutely wonderful player, and uh, I'm, I'm happy for the Clippers. After all those years of misery, uh, it, it, it feels like they're turning the corner a little bit. Well, it's, it's tough to have the... Uh, oh, Jared pitch. Bayless on an alley-oop. Look at Poo Jetter, and he does have Jets. A very, very nice year. This is Jared Bayless. Left the last game with under a minute to go with a calf injury. And it looked quasi-scary. That's Poo Jetter putting in the long J. But I talked to the University of Portland, so I've, had, I've seen this young man come through the system. I used to go and work out with him at the USP when he was there. Just a great kid. Loved the, the fact that he's getting opportunity. Dante Cunningham bothered by Gist. And here is Jetter. To the cup, high off glass, and it goes! Poo Jetter with an exhilarating and one. I'm telling you. Antonio multitasking here. Courtside. He's filling out his ballot for the All-Summer League team. And analyzing the game. And you're saying, how does he do them both? We don't know. Well, he is, in fact, that talent. Here's Poo Jetter, and he got the roll. It's been that kind of game and that kind of summer league for Poo Jetter. Guard LaMarcus Aldridge with his full skill set uh, on display next season after a, a third year, going into his third year as a full time starter at the NBA level. Blazers with their largest lead, and it's 16. Here's Poo Jenner. Nice feed underneath, and Pendergraf was up there for the family that people give him credit for. He's, you know, he's got long, uh, short arms, but he's got tremendous athleticism, and he's strong as a... Oh, look at this. Oh, guy. look at oh. this. Oh. He finger rolls it oh. over, zigging and zagging to the cup. Stinson. Through the lane. Left hand doesn't go. For Frisbee. Jetter pushing, finds Moss for the lamp, and 37, D-League back within 11. Moss right side, gets to the baseline. Reversal, Jetter, stripped away, straight to Pendergraf, who will finish on the baseline. Moss clears it, Jetter will run with numbers if he hurries. Off to Cunningham, he finishes strong and one. That's what I'm talking about. Dante, take bake and have it stripped away by Bobby Jones. Jetter to the middle. Free throw line pull up. Who almost never misses that. Portland gets the offensive rebound. Under three to play in the third. Jetter around the screen, getting in the paint. Out to Cunningham. Automatic. 